we're gonna do House of Hilton, guys, because I know that you all really loved the House of Hilton deep dive series. So as a preface, the House of Hilton was an unauthorized deep dive into the Hilton family. And one of the people that I think most of us became super fascinated if we've read the book or if you're just, you stumble across the House of Hilton deep dive that I had up on TikTok. Some of them have been taken down, um, but a lot of them are still on there, is Big Kathy. Big Kathy is Kathy Hilton, Kim Richards, and Kyle Richards' mom. They call her Big Kathy. Her name is Kathleen Dugan. Um, and Ken Richards, who is Kyle and Kim's dad, was her second husband. There were actually two things. So we're gonna talk about two things. When I was doing it in parts, one of the things we talked about was Ken Richards' first wife and an incident that Ken Richards' daughter from his first marriage recounted for the House of Hilton. And that involved an altercation with um, Big Kathy and Ken's first wife, Evelyn. I did a video about it for whatever reason, it was removed. Um, we'll talk about it on the live though. And then another thing that kept coming up was Ken Richards and was he, were, were the girls, like people have intimated or people honestly believe that for whatever reason, Ken Richards was not a successful or affluent businessman. This could not be farther from the truth. In fact, the girls grew up with a pretty nice lifestyle and for all accounts from what I can find in the house of Hilton and also what the girls will say about their dad, they had a very good relationship with him and he seemed like a really good dad. Now, you guys also have to remember that little Kathy, i.e. Kathy Hilton, is not Ken Richards' biological child. She was a toddler when Big Kathy and Ken started going together, started their affair together. Um, and her biological father, um, Big Kathy is divor divorced from when, you know, before she even met, you know, Ken Richards. Ken Richards passed away in 1998. So the daughter who will be recounting some of these stories, Diane, was from his very first marriage. Believe it or not, she actually passed away in 2006 or 2007. Both of his sons from his first marriage have also passed away and they all kind of passed away one year apart from each other, which was kind of crazy. Ken Richards started as a junior buyer at J.C. Penney, and within a decade had become the department store's chain's head of women's and girls' sportswear apparel. By 1960, he had become director of S.H. Cress and Company, an iconic but fading chain of five and dime stores located in the downtown areas of many American cities. He was a successful guy, and here's where it gets Interesting, around the time that he met Big Kathy, he was earning a princely salary as special consultant to the president of Mahasco Industries, the world's largest carpet manufacturer. Besides a fancy home on Long Island, he had a beautiful apartment in Manhattan and had purchased a lovely family farm upstate in Claverack, New York and he was in partnership in a motel and restaurant venture nearby. So clearly Ken Richards had some money. The book then goes on to say that he was tall, slim, handsome, sophisticated, bright, and well off, but there was a catch and a big one. He was still married. 
Now, by all accounts, and this is including with his daughter who participated in this book and his third and final wife, Sylvia, who was with him until he passed away in 1998, his 20-year marriage with his first wife, Evelyn, was not good. Uh, by the time Big Kathy came on the scene, Evelyn and him were not in uh, a very happy marriage. Apparently, Evelyn had a serious drinking problem. So, Big Kathy meets Ken, who is considerably older than her by like almost 20 years. They met at a party at Ken Richard's home. Big Kathy went to a party at Ken Richard's home. That's when they met. And the party was at, as I quote, his sumptuous home on Whitehall Boulevard in Garden City, Long Island. 